it is just a grim day for Australian aviation. Oh, it absolutely is, and it's been a grim year for Australian aviation. Uh, you talk about those job cuts. Uh, let's start there. We've got to start somewhere. Um, 6,000 jobs to go, 1,000-plus jobs among ground crew, 1,000-plus jobs among cabin crew, 630 jobs in engineering to go, and uh, 220 pilots are going to be let go as well. Now, Alan Joyce saying that it's uh, possible that there's going to be uh, several years of lower revenue, and in the short term, Qantas is just going to have to become a smaller airline. Now, contrast that with what Qantas was saying back in May, that it had enough liquidity to withstand conditions until December the 2021. Uh, it turns out that is not the case. And, Paul, we have more details on their capital raising plans right now. $1.9 billion in placement. Yeah, that's right. Uh, it appears uh, Macquarie, uh, J.P. Morgan on the ticket there as uh, Qantas uh, looks to raise some money to get it through this crisis. Uh, certainly, while this is uh, not ideal for Qantas, it's still in a much better position than its uh, competitor Virgin, which is, of course, under administration. Seven billion in debt, and we're waiting on news of uh, new owners for Virgin soon. But, yeah, uh, a capital raise being undertaken uh, of more than a billion dollars, those 6,000 jobs to go. Qantas also so grounding 100 planes for the next 12 months and the CEO saying this is part of a, a three-year strategy to get through this very difficult time. And Paul, speaking of the CEO, Alan Joy speaking earlier, let's just take a listen to what you know, he had previously said about the levels of liquidity and the balance sheet that the uh, airline is dealing with. We're now very, very confident that we have the liquidity uh, to, to last for a very long time. And you're absolutely right. If there was to continue uh, in current conditions, we would have no work for 25,000 of our employees. But when domestic comes back, we are going to be and will be activating those employees. So, uh, Paul, you know, as recently as this May, Qantas had said that they had enough liquidity to withstand the current conditions until December 2021. So it's just an indication of how severely this pandemic continues to worsen the outlook for, for airlines. But when it comes to leadership, we're seeing Alan Joyce really staying put for now. At least there's some semblance of consistency when it comes to, to the board. Yeah, Alan Joyce really did get on the front foot with all of this when the crisis began, immediately saying that he would take no pay for the rest of the year. So, uh, you know, symbolically, uh, that uh, put him in a strong position to lead the company through all of this. But uh, who knows how long this is going to last for? He says that Qantas continues to stand down 15,000 employees, particularly those that are tied to international operations. Of course, we do have a few domestic flights operating around Australia right now. Uh, he's aiming to get 8,000 back to work by the end of July, maybe 15,000 by the end of 2020. Uh, but, yeah, with planes grounded and uh, cases resurging in Victoria and even New Zealand no longer COVID-free, you'd have to say the future of that trans-Tasman aviation bubble, as it was being described, uh, may well be in doubt as well. So, uh, yeah, Alan Joyce digging in for a three-year strategy, and uh, it's uh, unlikely uh, that these will be the last steps that need to be taken.